Smash Drunk. Hello and welcome to part 3 of this video series where I talk about cheat codes and Super Nintendo games, one of my favorite things to talk about. When I first got into gaming as a kid, I was obsessed with collecting cheat codes and passwords and learning about tricks and secrets and stuff. Nintendo Power was a goldmine for a lot of this, obviously, especially the classified information section, but there's still some oddball quirks out there that even that magazine never covered. Sometimes these codes can be really useful and make the game even more fun, and sometimes they can be just plain weird. I'll give you an example of what I mean. There's a code in Konami's International Superstar Soccer Deluxe that turns the referee into a dog. Yes, that's right, just enter the Konami code on the second controller at the title screen, and you'll know it works when you hear a dog barking. And, uh, that's all this code does. No real power-ups or benefits or anything, just, uh, the referee is a dog. You gotta love that. And it appears to be a good boy, kind of like a certain Clyde dog that I know. The way these codes were implemented can be kind of funny too, like in the game Cool Spot. At this screen that says Virgin Games, hold L and R and press select 30 times before it disappears, and you'll get access to a stage select menu. The Super Nintendo library is littered with codes and secrets like this, so let's take a look at some more. Starting with Donkey Kong Country, here's one code that's a huge help to folks that are new to the game or if you just get sick of running out of lives. On the main menu, highlight where it says Erase Game, then enter B-A-R-R-A-L on the controller or barrel. And just like that, and you start out with 50 lives, and this works on both a brand new game and on any battery save files you might have. Another code you can enter is Diddy, or D-Y-D-D-Y, -D -D -Y. just enter down Y, down down Y while the intro is playing, and you'll be sent to a menu where you can practice some of the bonus games. There's also a code that allows you to switch freely between characters when playing with a second player, B, A, down, B, up, down, down, and Y, which spells Bad Buddy. And again, you enter that one when highlighting the Erase Game option on the main menu. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island is another game that has a code that unlocks mini games. You can go practice, go to the level selection screen, hold select, and press XXYBA. You can do this at any time as long as you're on the level select menu, and it unlocks a secret menu that lets you play the mini games you occasionally run into on your playthrough. One game has you fighting over coins against a computer opponent, another has you spitting and dodging watermelon seeds, and the other has you playing Simon Says within a time limit. And what's really cool is that the latter two games are compatible with a second player. This is the rare cheat code that doesn't make you overpowered or let you skip levels, but instead unlocks not one, but two multiplayer minigames. You gotta love that. In a previous video in this series, I talked about the SimCity Money Code, where you play out this convoluted process over the course of an entire in-game year in order to get a gazillion dollars. There's another code for this game, you can either start a new city or load a saved one, and immediately go up and quit your game. When you see the See You Soon screen here, take controller 2 and enter left, A, right, Y, up, B, down, X, select, start, start, select, R, R, L, L. And just like that, you've got access to the debug menu. You can turn off disasters, build stuff without paying for it by turning on the needless money option, maximize the demand for residential, commercial, and industrial zones, and my favorite, being able to bulldoze water. Just set the memory option to set and reset your Super Nintendo and all those options are now available to you. If you want to deactivate them, just go back the same way and change the memory option to clear. I love this one. It's so satisfying being able to finally play on a map that has zero water in the way. This next one is for Star Fox, and I've talked about it before, but I want to talk about it again because it's one of my favorites. It's more of a secret than a cheat code, but, well, it's a secret that very much functions as a cheat code since this trick allows you to leap ahead in the game or even leap over to different paths. I'm of course talking about the Black Hole. You find it in the second level on the easiest path in the Asteroid Belt. To get the black hole to show up, you have to blow up these asteroid windmill things, and you have to do it way up close or it won't work. After blowing apart all three, you'll see a silver asteroid with a troll face on it. Naturally, you're gonna want to shoot it, and when you do, a black hole appears. I don't remember how I found out about this secret, but the first time I did it, I could not freaking believe what I was seeing. I love that the black hole itself is just this junkyard of enemy ships, with cannons misfiring, creatures from Sector Y glom onto you. It's really cool. 
You have three different warp points here. The first ring takes you to Sector Y, the second ring takes you to Sector Z, and the third ring takes you straight to Venom on the easiest path, so if you're looking for a faster way to crank through Star Fox, then here you go. The Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse is one of those games that features a weird random secret that you'd never guess in a million years. The trick is you break yellow blocks until you find a small heart, but don't pick it up right away. Pause the game, then hold start and select on both the first and second player controllers, then pick up the heart. You'll hear the Capcom logo music, and you'll get full hearts, 999 coins, 9 lives, and 990 seconds on the timer, and you can do this trick any time during the game, but there is a cost. For some reason when this happens, the music just uh, stops playing entirely. At least until you get to a boss fight, then it comes back for whatever reason. Weird stuff like that is littered across all sorts of games, and sometimes not all the codes make sense as anything useful, like this one in Super Turrican. You can pause the game at any time, and press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, and then unpause, and, uh, your controls are reversed. I'm not entirely sure what purpose this serves, but it's there. Nothing beats a good password that makes you overpowered as hell, especially in a racing game, and in Top Gear 3000, it is the easiest password to remember. It's all Bs all the way across, and you get a gazillion dollars to get all the top upgrades so you can blow past any other car in your way. I love simple passwords like that, that are easy to remember. It's like an extra game mode you can switch to anytime you want. Passwords and codes that spell things out are always welcome too, like for example in the Super Nintendo port of Wing Commander, there's a stage select code at the title screen. You just enter B-A-B-Y-B-Y-L-A-R-A, -A -A, then start. That's right, the code spells out Baby by Lara. Well, congratulations on your baby, wherever you are, Lara. I know there's tons of passwords out there that spell things out like that. Let me know which ones I'm forgetting in the comments. As a kid, I always appreciated having a code that would help ease into a more difficult game. Like, for example, in Battletoads and Battle Maniacs, at the Trade West Presents screen, you press and hold A, B, and down while pressing Start, and you get an extra two lives and two continues. Same thing with Super Smash TV. Just press down, L, R, and up on the player select screen, and you'll be able to add a few lives and continues. It's nothing that makes you super overpowered or has you cheat the game or anything. It's just a small thing that helps make the most of your time as you practice and get better. Speaking of difficult games, here's an unusual code for Hagane. It's an infinite continues cheat, but the trick is to go to the configuration screen, highlight the music option, and play tracks 9, 8, 7, and 6 in that exact order. Sheesh, how do they come up with this stuff? Sometimes, however, you want to make an already difficult game even harder, and if that's what you're into, look no further than the gamer difficulty mode in UN Squadron. Just go to the options menu, hold X and A on controller 2, then press right on the D-pad twice on controller 1, and abracadabra, you've earned the right to die three dozen times in about 20 minutes. Seriously, gamer difficulty is relentlessly tough, but if that's what you're looking for, then here you go. Well, alright, that's all for now. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.